Good morning, everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Adela. Today, I am going to talk how to have an effective teaching for the students. Let's get this started. Traditional teachers were the holders of information and their role was to impart this knowledge and skill to the students. The internet has changed all that as information. We can now be obtained anywhere, anytime, on anything. Thus, the role of teacher has changed to developing the skill and tool to assist the student in critically analyzing the plethora of information available. Effective teaching is more than just the successful transference of knowledge and a skill or application around a particular topic. Um, effective teaching ensures that this surface approach to learn is replaced by deeper student-driven approach to learning, to analyze, develop, create and demonstrate understanding. A student needs to initiate learning and maintain engagement during learning development as independent head, lifelong learning. Now we are going to see another uh, presentation. If you have uh, any doubt, you can tell me, please. I am going to answer any question. Thank you. Effective teaching. What can I do in my student classroom? We consider this following step of teaching method. Input, process, output. Input. Preparation of lesson plan by the teacher. Process. Preparation of the subject matter by the teacher and acquisition of knowledge by students. Output, evaluation of knowledge gained by students. Then we can see that the teacher must prepare the contextualized lesson plan. Intention planning for the three moments of the class. It, it must have three moments. Start, development, and close. In a start, we can see diagnosis, motivation, and activity. Development, and activity for learning, achievement, videos, diagrams, notes, and links. Close. Evaluation. It can be traditional or authentic. Pedagogical process. Initiate. Can we really need for find out? Locate. How do I find the information? Select. What information is relevant and reliable. Organize. How can I use this information? Present. How can I communicate my research? Finally, assess. What did I learn from this process? Pedagogical process. According to the FODA in Peru, we consider that weaknesses are the most disadvantageous 
characteristic in an organization over which control has been lost, the best decision have not been made or have not been adequately addressed. We can see a teacher that she asks herself, what is the problem? What do you need to correct? Motivation, the magic word. Believe that you can. Motivating them. Prize students in ways big and small. Recognize wearing class. Display good work in the classroom and send positive note home to parents. Expect excellence. Say hi. Realistic expectation. Make sure to voice those expectations. Say short terms, goals, and celebrate when they are achieved. Assign classroom jobs. Allow students to use their creative and some list of software for the week using the criteria of their choice. The jobs can satisfy your interests and abilities. Goal setting process. Listen down, choking down, set motivation, visualize it. Presentation, practice and production. In my experience, I can see the importance about meaning of presentation, practice and production, that it's a successful teaching method that has a language in which students should carry out by the end of it. PPP can be applied to teach grammar items, function, vocabulary, and even pronunciation. The teacher can introduce a situation and present the target language in contest. The introduction is the most important part of your presentation. It's the first impression you all make on your students. It's your first opportunity to get their attention. You want them to trust you and listen to you right away. The future is yours, is a magic word too for all the students. Practice. A student practice the target language through drills or control practices. The teacher controls the practices by checking student understanding of the items presented in the first stage. Let's see the pictures. Production. The students transfer the previously static structure to different situation. The aim is to increase fluency in linguistic use. Through autonomous and more creative activities, the strategies for achieving such as goal are based on a free use of the target structure. Cooperation is instruction of interaction design to facilitate the accomplishment of a specific end product or goal through people working together in groups. Collaboration is a philosophy of interaction and personal lifestyle where individuals are responsible for their action, including learning and respect the ability and contribution of their peers or groups. 
I think this picture is uh, wonderful for us. Production. The student transferred the previously studied structure to different situations. The aim is to increase fluency in linguistic use through autonomous uh, and more creative activities. The strategies for achieving such a goal are based on our free use on the target structure. A student use the target language and make sentences of their own. Assessment of learning. In this, in this stage, the teacher can evaluate the, re the result of the student's learning. My final work consisted in the construction of the book guide of our master, Sir M. G. Jean-Pierre Mendoza, website of the Ministry of Education, Technology, Versatility of Resources Found, Collaboration of Students, Experiences Lived in My Dear Adebic Workplace. Thank you. So, I think your conference has been clear, brief and concise. Thank you. My name is Meralid. I want to do a clear presentation. I could understand all the conference. Thank you. My name is Gianfranco. My opinion is that your speech is very interesting and I catch him. Thank you very much. My name is Pamela Alcázar. I'm very grateful for you about your presentation because information is very useful for my professional career. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.